What is up, YouTube world? It's more mail. I'm gonna leaf through some today. Some that's been sitting. Um, want to get it done. Regardless. So I got this stuff the other day. This is a Pacific 04, I think, 0405 in the crease. Why'd Pacific go tits up? Every other entity every other release of that in the crease the crease the net area that was all laser cut this one is not i was <laughs> very disappointed to see that so heed this warning these are not worth getting and then i got a four card lot it didn't say anything about a specific connotation on every card one card i said it's i said well I may as well take a stab at it. Hopefully it's uh, the real one. It wasn't. Uh, Pinnacle Inside, 97.98. The Pro Moto 250. Atomic. Sample. Adonis Priority, 97.98. Uh, Postmaster General. Fifteen hundred, and then the one I saw, like, oh, please be it. <clears throat> the ninety-seven, ninety-eight, Pinnacle certified, uh, certified gold team. Just still haven't seen a copy of this. There's a promo, but again, I think I got it for like seven or eight bucks. Yeah, you can't really go wrong there. But you can. <clears throat> You'll see this card, not this particular card, but similar. Again, there's that artist proof. Or 95-96 Summit, Dougie G. Um, out of Revolution, 90, I think 97-98. Might be 98, 99. Uh, the team checklist. Die cut, which is always intriguing to me and appealing. Got one of these for steel. Finally got one. Um, <clears throat> it's taken quite some time. Oh, what a 97, 98 Donos Elite. Um, I think it's 97, 98. It might be 96, 97. It's the perspective cards. Dougie Gilmore. Those are the 500. So, I'm super happy to get one of those. Also happy with this. Was not happy with the way it was sent. Cardboard sandwich. Um, it was 03, I think 04. Um, or 02, 03, heads up. Pacific. Quad Jersey. Cujo and Brodeur. Lemieux, three color, pronger one, but nice paint patch. I don't like the little chip right up there in the top middle, but at the price I got this at, I thought I did phenomenal. I think that was basically the price, it was under the price of two blasters um, together. Yes, I'll get in the top load, but it's in that wonky garbage 80s uh thicker sleeve so 
Alright. Normally I don't do the new stuff. I offered on this. He took it. And uh, I think I got it for like 10 shipped. And the way the card is designed, I like it a lot. Because you can't, it's a non-licensed um, product, but at the same time, it doesn't look that way unless you're like completely looking for the Devil's logo. So, uh, out of Lumber Kings this year, game you stick. On the bottom underneath there, right above the name, it's 35. I've seen a lot of these go a lot more than that, so um, super happy to get this. And again, it's not like I'm the mem stuff really it, it intrigues me, but to the point where I have to rein myself in because if I start looking at that cup stuff, uh, the ultimate collection, the UD patches, the be a player stuff falls somewhat in that line in the ultimate memorabilia, so I look at that a little more. <clears throat> With loving eyes, but unless I can get a great deal, I'm not jumping in, or unless it's one of the lower, lower numbered ones. I wish it were actually serial numbered. The ultimate ones I do like, where it's encased and has a serial number. Um, the other stuff, like the emblems, the numbers, they're SPRs, uh, staged print runs. So, but I like this. I like this a lot. I'm super happy with it. It took a while to get here, but again, patience. Sometimes patience is that virtue I actually have, so super happy to get that. And then a bunch of stuff from TNT. <clears throat> so we got Daniel Alfredson. Do this because I know it's not going to catch there. I mean, the backs are probably nicer than the front. <clears throat> and so the same year Zenith as uh, those Z teams that everybody clamors for, rightfully and deservedly. So this was another one that <clears throat> doesn't get a ton of attention. There's not a lot of top flight players, uh, hobby wise. Production-wise, there is. So, I know Bertuzzi's in there. And I know Alfredson's in there. So, there's two two guys that were fairly solid. 94-95 um, Team Pinnacle. Both sides can have the Dufex. There's Dougie Gilmore. There's that guy. Mario Lemiex. Like I said, you're going to be seeing a little more of these. you got Keith Primu. He sort of was all over the place. <laughs> Hall of Fame career? No. Solid career? Yes. Chelios. Again, I think I had one of these last time too. <coughs> <coughs> when you're a Hall of Fame defenseman, you got under $6 for this stuff. It... <laughs> Sorry, I keep buying it. Um, Super T. The X-Axis. Fractal Matrix die cut. 97, 98, so it's not as true. The 96, 97's is rookie year. That black diamond, uh, triple diamond. But still, Super T, I loved him for so long. The refractor variation of these, um, red lighters, Paul Korea, nice. Uh, these, if they were numbered, I think they'd be a very sought after insert, but they're not. They got the, you can see there, that refractor finish and shine in the back. I think they were one of the more underrated. Great futures of the SPX. Yeah, Koivu, Alfredson. I can't even read the name. 
I got party at the Daze. Vitaly Yachemnev. Yachemnev. I think for the Kings it looked like. So we're going to get three guys that had fairly good careers. Daze got a little dinged up and <clears throat> hampered some of his years, but two on the left had very long, very productive careers. Koivu and Alfredson. And again, to have Gretzky on there, it's always a plus. One in 181. Here's one of those... <clears throat> with the Pacific, it's just like, eh. That's what you had. What a dining on ice. Lords of the Rink. And that's not, there's nothing fancy at all. There's some foil and that's it. Another one, the Aurora NHL Command, 98-99. Case hits, one in 361. There's Forsberg. Again, not everything has to be a insane <clears throat> multi-technology card, but if you're going to have a case hit, that should be one of the ones that you're looking at, like, ooh, there's lenticular motion or a die cut or some awfully insane... Like a, a print on the foil, like an atomic refractor, or that the 97 Skybox Rubies, but it's just pretty much just some gold foil. And that in the back, I mean, it's not, not anything exciting. But, the rarity. Yarmir Yager, on 95-96 Pinnacle Artist Proof. See that down in the corner. Again, that can get lost. Because, again, if you're just looking at that as a regular card, you're like, oh, that's a nice card. And you really don't pick that up a lot of the time. A lot of it blends in more so with the card. This one you can sort of see really good. So, happy to pick that up. And now we're getting to the gold rush. Um, 95-96 John LeClaire, top's finest gold refractor. Nineteen ninety five ninety six tops gold refractor Brian Leach. Watching Carlos' stream last night, uh <clears throat> from last night. There's a Dougie Gilmore. Ed Jovanovsky, rookie. Cold refractor. Jovo cop. Had a very long, solid career as well. And the <clears throat> one I think I like the most is Leclerc, Mystery Finest Gold Refractor. Again, you see a lot of these players that are. And the cup, is, the cup runneth over, as it were, on uh, multiple videos, value, and again, they're in the same sets. There's a lot of, like, Wah, Forsberg, Bruder, Sackick. It's, and these guys weren't slouches either, so it's like, if I can pick these up for a fraction of that, I'll pick it up. I don't want to go hog wild, but to pick a lot of the stuff in one shot, I'm happy. And everybody's favorite, <clears throat> second favorite behind Mr. Palfy, Keith Kachuk, 96-97, uh, Select Certified Mirror Gold. Ninety six, ninety seven. Pinnacle Inside, this is <coughs> the executive collection of Mr. Tamu Salami. Salami. Salani. Now we're getting some brodeurs. So we got the 96-97 Donruss uh, Press Proof to 2000. A little die cut star in the top right. We got the Elite uh, Painted Warriors. I 
think it's 97, 98. It's 2,500. The base version of the sterling gold, or the top's finest gold, about the refractor. <clears> or <throat> a Dynagon, um, I don't know if it's a Duos, the insert. But you got Osgood and you got Brodeur. Didn't have it yet. And the main one, which I found out I had, so again, making that list. But always to get like a 97, 98 a pinnacle artist proof, can't go wrong. So, <clears throat> there's those. Move that out of the way. Go with the hand. Now, the seller on the next three cards sent in three packs of the 0910 UD Ice. So, I'll open those with Naomi. <clears throat> but I got these, and these are all like the McDonald's patches, and they're all... You'll be, you'd be surprised on how tough these are to find for anyone at like a decent price. So I got Marcus Nazland to 150 Just a two-color, nothing super fancy. Carlos, sit down. Sit down, Carlos. <sighs> Carlos, please sit down. Um, Four-color... Mike Madano. And then Peter Forsberg. When I one that's eluded me. I've been on it three, four times and it went higher, and this one finally went like under twenty-five. I mean, I think people get semi scared off because it's you see McDonald's, you see like that to 150. You're like, ah, that's a pretty easy thing. Yeah, okay. Keep thinking that. So happy to get those. Uh, Broder is still a guy I'd like to get. And again, I go back to saying, well, Broder, game use stuff, that kind of stuff. The Pacific, where it's a patch, actually notated as such, that always has interest to me. Um, a couple. Here's an 012. Brodeur, you can see sort of on his torso, there we are, it's embossed, that's the premiere date stamp there, the bottom there, it's number 260, goals against average through 2, 4, 6, 7 seasons-ish, 2.2. You're lucky to find, like, one goalie that's even near that in these times, so. <clears throat> to 60, and then this one. Seller sent <clears throat> that SP Authentic copy, which I thank you, eBay seller. This is one I had quickly, I had seen it, offered, because it was a 99 cent starting bid or best offer, one for 10 Took about three, four hours, but he accepted it. I'm happy. I haven't even looked in the back of just to see what the rarity is on these. But I am fairly confident that's <clears throat> not an easy card to run across just because of the numbering on it. And again, I haven't seen, I don't think, any... Son of a bitch, get out. seen any on any level period so out of I think 0203 upper deck I don't even know what it's out of but it's the challenge for the cup and it's numbered or it's challenge it might be challenge for the cup and it's brilliant backstops and it's numbered to 35 down here so for the price, uh, I was I was nervous. I was sweating bullets. I was I was mega deathing it. So Dave Mustaine helped me through that one. Hello, me. It's me again. And the last two three cards, got this one with one of them. It's a sepia. I showed two of the three, and that's Josh Johnson serial numbering for the win. 
showed two of the three off during one of the Insert Revolution podcasts, which you can see on the Insert Revolution podcast, a YouTube channel, Tuesday nights at 7.05 Central Standard Time. There's this one I got off one of the Facebook. I think I put a bunch of stuff up in the 101 group. Showing off to Jason Morrow's and the guy had, had this. I said, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll finally, I'll buy it. Just whatever. It's like 30 35 More than I should pay, but I am a sucker for select. So thank you, Mr. Facebook seller. And this one was why, <clears throat> or one of the guys had said, oh, well, I'll get this for, I, I can, I was going to bid this much. It's like, mm, you didn't. The full size super of tomorrow. Bottom left, one of one. A nine. And then this one, which is the big one. First big one of the year. Which make well, I will peel the red and the blue I've got. <clears throat> because I want everything to match. But an eight and a half. And I got this basically free with eBay Bucks. And a uh, eBay gift card for it that I got for my uh, mother for Christmas. So, it cost me, after eBay bucks, it cost me like 70 bucks um, delivered. So, it's been a big year for Brodeur, and we're just one month in. So, hope you guys enjoyed. All kinds of great. I mean, it's just fun. Cards are fun. Zig and zag and... Shook and jive and weave and wobble. That's my collecting style. Take her easy, YouTube. She's easy. Take her twice.